Clyde Property in Perth, award winning letting and estate agents, proud sponsors of Sense TV. Tommy, what's your reaction to that, that draw tonight? Uh, you know, on another night we probably could have won it. Um, you know, at the end, uh, I thought it was only a double save, but somebody said it was a triple save from Brown. Um, and if we score then, it, you know, the game would have been would have been won. But you know, I asked for a reaction, and uh, you know, certainly got it. I thought the performance was excellent, and we went toe to toe, a very good side. And um, probably if, if Crofty scores at one 0 that hits a post, I think um, you know we can go on and win the game. But after they got one each, uh, you know, they had a few chances, and, and we had chances as well. So it was end to end stuff. You know, Derek could quite easily stand here and say, you know, his team could have won, uh, and it's safe to say that. You know, we could have won it. Simon, what was your, your take on the, the game tonight? Um, I think the most important thing was we had a reaction from Tuesday night. I was extremely disappointing. I think it, it goes without saying uh, the result and I think most of the performance on Tuesday. And, and we did, we got a reaction. Um, and, and over the piece, you know, maybe unlucky not to get three points, but it's a good point uh, against a team that are going, going really well in the league. So um, we'll take the point and move on to the next game. Going late into, late into the game, did you feel that we were going to get that, that winning goal? Yeah, both teams have had chances in the game. Um, but like you said, the last few minutes, um, we've had a couple of... I think Michaels had one cleared off the line, and then Stephen McLean as well. Like just, I think he got a nick on it, but just c couldn't get there in the end. Um, so maybe unlucky there, but um, like I say, it's a, it's, a, it's a good way to bounce back from the disappointment of, of Tuesday. Um, and, and we showed a, a real togetherness, uh, and, and like I say, it's a good point. After Tuesday's defeat in Inverness, what, what were we doing tonight which, that we weren't doing on, on Tuesday? Well, we played with a lot more intensity and a lot more energy. And, uh, you know, maybe Tuesday night was, you know, Inverness didn't have a game and maybe the fact they were fresher were maybe a half a yard quicker than us on and, and, uh, and Tuesday night. But we played more like ourselves tonight. When we work that hard and, and play at that intensity with and without the ball, you know, we're a match for, for anybody and we proved that, I say, against uh, a team that could have went top of the table the night if they'd have won the game. You scored your first goal for St Johnston, just uh, take me through it. Um, I, couldn't, I think it was either Maka or Gary Miller that crossed it, I can't remember, it's kind of popped up in the air um, and Kano was in front of me, I told me to leave it and I managed to get my right foot to it, which is strange, um, but it was nice to see it at the net and go off the mark for the club, but the most important thing was that we got a result and a performance tonight and we managed to do that. Uh, missing missing a few players tonight, how do you feel the players that came in um, did, for, did for the team? Yeah, excellent. And it, uh, Murray Davidson middle part was brilliant. Um, like I say, Kano's, he worked his socks off, off, uh, off up front. Um, and that's what we need. We need a squad, a squad of boys that, after his injuries or suspensions, or, or for whatever reason, the manager decides to change the team, that they're ready to step in and do their bit for the side. Um, and but we've got that, we've got that in the dressing room. Um, I think it showed showed that tonight on the pitch. Chris Kane made his first first start for St Johnston. How do you feel he, he played? I'm delighted with him. I mean, uh, it, I think it frustrated a few people that we put him out and loan again, but that was the best thing for him. He had to go out and play, learn his trade, and he's done that. He's come back a better player, and he's stronger. And, you know, I felt tonight was the night to start him because we're at home. Um, I know he'd done reasonably well against Aberdeen last year for Dumbarton as well. And he's given two experienced centre-halves a really tough night. And I'm really, uh, he's unlucky with his chance in the first half and maybe a wee bit more composure. I think he snatches at the one that goes across the, from Crofty's cross. But overall, delighted with his performance. And with Kano and, and Cadis and Scott Brown, what do they have to do to keep their place in the team when can more experienced players come back from injury and suspension? Well, I mean, if you take Liam, Liam wasn't you know left out tonight because he hadn't done well. He was left out because because our third game in six days and we needed to freshen it up and you have a player of quality of Lee Croft. So they've just got to keep working hard every day in training and, uh, and playing well. And, uh, you know, uh, the three of them, the one thing I'll say they've got, uh, a, you know, all on, they've got one thing in common. They've got great attitudes. So, you know, I think the three of them will be, you know, in and around the first team for a long time. Finally, staying that performance from tonight um, and into our next game away to Motherwell next next weekend. Yeah, of course. Um, even at half time, I thought 
first half we, we started like I said we started really well with a great first half and it was important we'd done that in the second half and uh, it wasn't just 45 it's going to be 90 minutes and we'll need the same again next week and away to Motherwell and from now until the end of the season every game we need to kind of start games in that correct manner um, and hopefully we, we can go on a, another good run again. A few players missing tonight when, when are those quite a few players when are those players expected to come back from injury? Well obviously James is back from suspension um, Chrissy Miller is making progress. Dave Mackay is back went into spasm and we left him at home tonight and um, so we, we, we don't know um, you know with him. Uh, Gary Miller took a wee knock tonight but I think he's going to be okay. Uh, I think you know next week we could have Chrissy Miller back, certainly James uh, and Cup tie we'll, we'll wait and see because you know, backs are uh, are tricky. They could be you could be you know we could wake up in the morning and be fine the next day he's not so We'll just wait and see with that one. And Dave McKay missing the match tonight. Um, the, the captain, Darren's, Darren Bam, was given to Steve McLean. What, what, what does he have leadership quality wise? Uh, I forgot. I, listen, Cal, Callum came into me and says we, 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 we didn't name a captain. And, uh, well, El Arando or, or um, uh, Maka. So uh, I just think Maka is a bit more vocal than Ando. So he's a leader, he helps people. He, he uh, by his play, uh, he's a 100 mile an hour, he's always on the go, he's always having a go at people in the, in the right manner when he has to, he encourages people, so he's, he's whether he had the captain's arm on or not, I think he, he always leads by example. Thanks Tommy. Cheers.